Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I want to uh, go through the code number 20, uh, validate parentheses. Uh, this is one of the most popular uh, problem. As you can see, uh, this question was asked by many, many uh, big companies. Let's take a look at the uh, question. Um, we are given a string that containing just the characters, uh, left bracket, right bracket, a small bracket, and uh, the query bracket. So, um, also this uh, square bracket, and uh, we need to determine um, if the input string is valid. Uh, and there are two conditions to make sure that uh, um, the string is valid, and the open brackets must be closed by the same type of bracket. So uh, this is like a um, matching problem, and also yeah, it has been has to be closed to, uh, in the correct order. So let's take a look at some examples. Um, for uh, this one is a very trivial case. So it's a the function is output true because it's correctly matching the type, and so uh, it, it goes to this right order. And same for this one. For this one, it's not matching the type. This one is not matching the order. And this one is matching both the type and order, so it's, it's true. Um, I will go through my uh, solution in the, um, uh, what, by using the st stack approach, uh, the stack error data structure. So let's uh, first take a look at algorithm. So as you can see, um, this is a very good uh, illustration of the algorithm. Um, when we have an open bracket, we will put it in a stack. And that's the first uh, uh, open bracket, which is a kernel bracket. And then we will put it in the um, a stack. So it's a, it's, it's a first element of the list. And then we have another. Uh, Open bracket, which is a square bracket. Another one, so we keep stacking on top of it. And then when we come across the first uh, closing bracket, and then we check the type. Is that matching uh, the one the the one at the top? If it is, uh, this one will be put off, and then will be uh, disappear from the stack. And then we check another one, and it's opening bracket, and then we'll put it in the stack again. And then we come across a uh, closing bracket with the right type, so we pop off the one we just put in. Same, it's a closing bracket, so we are not putting in the stack. And then we check uh, the top element uh, in the stack. And the check is the wire type. If it is, we pop it off. Same thing. And then it's an open bracket. We put it in stack. Check that's a, a closing bracket. We do not put it in a stack. And then we check that is it the right type. And in this case, it is. And then we pop it off. And uh, again, same thing. Uh, it's open bracket. We put it in a stack. To check if the right type uh, is a closing type. If it is, we are not putting it in the stack, and then we just check the type. If it is, we pop it off. At the end, uh, we need to see uh, if the stack is empty. If it is, we return a true. So uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, how can we implement in uh, in Python? So uh, first, we need a hash map uh, to map. Uh, the open bracket with the closed bracket. So uh, the closed bracket will be in the keys, and the values will be in the, the open bracket. And then we have a stack, which is an empty list. For all the character in the given string, if the character is in the in the value, which is the um, open bracket, if it is an open bracket, we will put it in the stack by appending to the list. Otherwise, that means it's not an open bracket. It is a closed bracket. 
there's a corner case where uh, if there is a close bracket, but the stack is already empty, it's automatically we return a false. Because that means we have closed bracket, but there's no corresponding open bracket uh, to uh, to offset it. And then, um, if this is not the case, it means there's something on in the stack, and it will pop off the the last element, and the last element will be an open bracket. If the open bracket is not equal to the matching type, and that will return a false. And then, and then we put it in the for loop and then go through all the uh, characters. And, and if at the end, if the stack is not empty, that means there is some, um, open bracket is being not, uh, not being offset. If at the end, if the stack is not empty, that means there is some open bracket stop being offset and that will return a false. Otherwise, you return a true. So in terms of time complexity, um, this is a bit of n because we simply uh, just um, traverse uh, all the character in the string and uh, pushing and popping operations just uh, take a um, constant time, which is a big O of one. And in terms of space complexity, uh, that uh, is comes from the, the stack. And the worst case will be uh, everything it will be the open bracket. So yeah, this is so much uh, about the solution. And by using stack, I hope you like it. If you do, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.